What's up guys and welcome back to another video writing to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of server issue or error you're currently having with Solaris. Stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know or let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys, you would support my work on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say, let's get right started. So the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to hit your Windows and your R key. So this tab will pop up and I want you to type in CMD as I already did and hit OK or Enter, whatever. And now you're gonna type in what I'm gonna type in, so ipconfig space slash flush. DNS and hit enter. Once it is successfully flushed, as you can see, you should be able to end this task again. Navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, click into the window symbol, click into settings. Navigate right into network and internet. And go down to network troubleshooter. You're gonna use your windows in order to find any kind of issue you could currently have. Afterwards, I want you to click into network and sharing center. Now, I want you to navigate to the top right corner. On the blueprint, the text where either says internet or ethernet, it just depends on which one you're currently using, but it doesn't really matter. Just click on the blueprint the text. The ethernet or internet status will pop up. I want you to click into properties. You can only do that, do that by being an administrator. Hit internet protocol version 4. Enable use the following DNS server addresses and now you need to Google them. So first of all, you just go to Google and Google your DNS server address for Google so you prefer an alternate DNS server address and just type it in. Or 4 times 8 at the top, so 8, 4, uh, 8, 8, 8, 8, and 2 times 4 and 2 times 8 at the bottom, so 4, 4, 8, 8, and hit OK and apply. This will probably fix your issue. Yeah guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm gonna really be thankful for that, and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say, have a nice day. See you at the next one, and bye.